Today, QuizUp is announcing a brand new version of the game that brings in huge social components like chat, people search, and an interest graph. We're here to talk with Thor Friedrichsen about it. So there's a big release that's coming out mm -hmm. uh, today. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about why you guys chose to go so big on social. That's really the big news. And why is that? Why is that happening? We kind of spent the last year developing something that that this is a trivia game at the core, but it's also just a really, really awesome way to connect to other people based on your interests. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. So this is basically the the new quiz up. Uh, this is the home screen. And on the home screen, you'll see, well, my stats here, uh, how many followers I have and how many I'm following, the games I've done, and more importantly, you'll see my topics. And the new quiz hub is all about your topics or your interests. And as you can see here, these are the things that, that I'm interested in. I, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I, you know, like science. I'm, I'm also kind of a, a flag nerd. But the difference now is that instead of just playing those topics like I did in the original quiz hub, I can actually go into, let's say, Game of Thrones topic, where, sure, I can play and I can check out the rankings, but I can also communicate with other Game of Thrones fans. It has all these you know, elements of uh, basically a, a, a social network, which we're very excited about. The difference here, though, is, and this is quite unique to, to QuizUp, is that here you can actually go into anyone's profile and see something that we think is really interesting, and that is like Stefan here, for example. You can see that he's from Iceland. He's the top ten in Heroes of North. Okay. Anyway, and I can see this circle here. This is the circle of interests, and I can see that uh, Stefan he really likes hip hop and rap and MMA and Seinfeld and flags. Oh, he likes flags. Huh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Guys are gonna be friends. And we're gonna be friends and words and locos. And then from his screen. I can go ahead and play him, and then I'll get the selection of playing him in any of our common topics. Or I can follow him, or just go directly into a chat. One other way you can actually find uh, people on QuizUp now is through the People tab. And the People tab is, is kind of interesting. Wait, so you actually push the filter here, and it's a people search uh, tool. The difference of this tool compared to any other, I think, is that you can specify some some like parameters here, like let's say I look for a female that's aged between uh, I don't know uh, 20, 30 and 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 50, and I can search nearby, so nearby uh, to where I am in my country, in my state, or in the world, and then I add specific interests. So I get all of my interests here. So if I want to search for someone that likes Game of Thrones and who likes I don't know uh, tech. That would be kind of an awesome person, I think. <laughs> uh, I can search among other quiz abusers, and I can see that here, uh, Stacy, 31 year old, from the United States. She was active just yesterday. And I can swipe between different people, Ellen, uh, and all of these people have both Tech and Game of Thrones in common with me. Okay, so we talked a little bit about. Um you know, the difference between having like, hundreds, thousands of categories mm -hmm. and having six broad t categories. I know mm -hmm. that Trivia Crack kind of made a dent in things in terms of popularity. They were mm -hmm. talked about quite a bit, mm -hmm. and they have a different approach. Why did you decide mm -hmm. to double down on what you guys had been good at as opposed to kind of looking at what Trivia Crack was getting attention for? I think that's a really bold move. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I think that, you know, Trivia uh, is basically like an evergreen category. And people have been doing trivia for hundreds of years. The real difference uh, between us and I think every other game out there is this, you know, real emphasis on different and multiple niche interests. And when we looked at how our users were behaving and we thought like, you know, if it if we're only a game, people will play us and they'll play us maybe obsessively for some time, but then like with any other games, they'll quit playing it. But if we you know, utilize the strength of QuizUp through all of these different interests. And we create like a place where people will go back to, to meet new people, to get, you know, be a part of some communities around some interests. We've created something that's much more sustainable. So how do you approach then competing essentially with Facebook in a lot of ways now? Because there's an opportunity to meet new people. You mm -hmm. can chat. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook has its own 
app platform with games, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Which is obviously a shared interest among people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So instead of competing with other games now, you're also competing with social networks and even maybe Tinder, right? If we're seeing marriages happen. Yeah, well, yeah, well, and we <laughs> you're, you're, you're right. Search. You have like, well, the thing is that uh, Facebook, and this is one of the reasons why we went into this originally, uh, you're right. In many ways, uh, the things you can do when QuizUp now is comparable to Facebook. You have those groups, you have commenting, you have chats, you have all of these ways to communicate. But Facebook isn't really for meeting new people. You know, maybe technically you can, but everyone you know, knows this feeling of getting a, a friend request from someone you don't know on Facebook. It's just kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. It's just socially unacceptable. You think it's, some, it's someone you don't want to, to talk to. But what we found out is that creating these you know, brand new communities around interests, and instead of just poking someone like someone would do on Facebook or start chatting with someone on, on Facebook, you know, if you can challenge someone in something that you're both interested in, we just saw that that's a much less creepy and a much better icebreaker to start communication. So uh, in some ways, we are not trying to compete with Facebook uh, when it comes to you know, communicating with existing friends. But maybe we're trying to, to complement Facebook in some ways as the, the network where you can meet new friends.